Welcome to Kindergarten Math. This is Chapter 1, and we're going to represent, count, and write numbers 0 to 5. This is Lesson 1.1. We're going to model and count 1 and 2. This is called a 5 frame. We have one bumblebee. This is the number 1, and this is the word 1. We can take counters like these, and we can put a counter for each bumblebee. There's one bumblebee. We can take one counter and put it into the five frame. That one counter represents that one bumblebee. Here we have two bumblebees. This is the number two. This is the word two. We can take two counters and put them into the five frame to represent the bumblebees. That's one. And that's two. One, two. Two counters for two bumblebees. Here we have one frog. Here's the number one. Here's the word one. We can put a counter into the five frame to represent the frog. We take one counter and put it into the five frame. One counter for one frog. Here we have two frogs, one, two. Here's the number two, here's the word two. We can use counters to represent the two frogs. We put one counter into the five frame we put two counters into the five frame. Two counters for two frogs. This is a message for the parents. One and two are sight words. They cannot be sounded out phonetically. Children are to memorize them as a whole by sight. You can see the video description for a link about sight words. We can trace the number one with our finger. Can you do it in the air with my finger? We start up here and we draw a line coming down to here. We start at the top and draw a line coming straight down like that. We start at the top and come straight down. We can use the other hand, if this is the hand you use, we start at the top and we come straight down. For the number two, we start here and we're going to curl around down to the line and go to the side. You can do it with me with your finger. We start here, we come around to the bottom and come off to the side like that. Let's try it again. We start here, we come around, and go off to the side. And for the right-handed students, we start here, we come around, and go off to the side. We start here, come around, and go off to the side. That's the number two. Can you trace them on your own? Here it's telling us to trace the number. See the dotted line? We have to trace that. And then once we trace all the numbers, we need to draw a line to match that number to the number of animals. Here we have a number one. We start at the top line here and we go straight down to the bottom line. That's one. Do you see one animal that we could draw a line from this dot across to the one animal? I see one pig and I see one cat. So we can draw it to either one of these. We can draw a line to the pig. That's one pig. 
here we have the number two. We start here, we curve around, come down on a slant, and then go straight off to the side. Do you see two animals that we could draw the line to? I see two pigs. I also see two cats, so we could draw our line to either one of these. Let's do it to the pigs. Number two for two pigs. Here we have a number one again. We start at the top and go straight down. Do you see one animal that we could draw from this dot to the other side? Here's one cat. We can draw a line to match the number one to one cat. Here we have a two again. We can start here. We can curve around and trace it on a slant and then go off to the side to make our two. Now we need to connect it to two animals. Do you see two animals that we can connect it to? Yes, we still have the two cats over here, don't we? We can draw a line and connect it like that. Here we have one penguin. That's the number one. We can write the number one starting up here at this black dot at the top of the line. We go straight down to the bottom line. One. We can do it with the other hand for those of you who are right-handed. We start at the top at this dot and we go straight down to the bottom line and make a one. Let's try that again. We start at the top, we go straight down to the bottom line, we make a one. And we can do it left-handed again for those of you who are left-handed. We start at the top and we go straight down to the bottom line and make a one. Here we have two penguins, one, two. We have the number two. For our left-handed writers, we start here. We curve around, go on a slant to the bottom line and then go sideways, two. Let's try that again. We start here. We curve around, come down on a slant, and go sideways. Let's try it for the right-handed writers. We start here, we curve around, go on a slant, and go sideways. Let's try it again. We start here, we curve around, go on a slant, and go sideways. That's the number two. You can practice counting one or two, and you can practice writing one or two. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me next time when we learn how to count and write one and two some more in Lesson 1.2. Bye.